I uh, wanted to show you all this bowl. Um, it's plated, I'm pretty sure, because there's some copper down in there. You can kind of see where the copper has uh, corroded and shown through little green spots. I did not um, clean the bottom. I got pretty tired just cleaning this part. However, the surprise, I've got a couple surprises for us. This is sterling. As I was cleaning it, uh, I was thinking to myself, boy, this really is, you know, compared to cleaning this plated one, this was different. And then all of a sudden, the, um, the hallmark showed up, and it says, Frank M. Whiting and Company Sterling, 06 patent pending. So I'm going to have to look that up. So I believe that brings the silver count to 16 now, with this piece obviously having the most silver and a lot of glass and then another surprise this tiny uh, piece of 925 has a diamond I guess I'm kind of dense this it's called Lindenwold fine jewelers made in the USA and this thing I knew wasn't real but I think that's to draw your attention when you're buying it to the fact that this small piece of 925 has a diamond in it. Let's see if we can get to sparkle. And uh, try to use my diamond tester. And also, it says 925, and it has a little, uh, like a triangle. So I need to look up that symbol. So we've got uh, 16 sterlings. I mean, not sterling. 16 silvers, and one diamond. And I did take that gold looking uh, necklace in to a jeweler today and it's plated it's not real but it is he said it is pretty i said yes it is all right thanks for watching